This is our courtyard here. Um, it, oh shoot. It's locked. <laughs> no, it's unlocked. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer of The Lifestyled Co. And you are probably recognizing where I am. I am at the ODL house, my house, our new build that we have been building for the last 13 months in partnership with Craft Homes and Sierra Pacific Windows. And the topic of this video is exactly that, windows. This video is sponsored by Sierra Pacific. They have been our trusted window partner for a very long time. I'm talking like 10 years plus. And the only windows that I ever considered for my new build and also the windows that we used most often on our client projects. So I have another video out there about how to select doors and windows. You should start there if you're really wanting concrete information about windows, kind of that general overview. And then in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more specifically about the exact windows and doors that I selected for my home and also give you a quick, more in-depth look at the windows themselves. So I'm gonna show you how the casement works, um, talk to you a little bit about girl styles and patterns and just give you some overall more info on what I selected for my own personal home, the ODL house. This is a great example of one of the types of windows that Sierra Pacific can do. So this is a totally custom window with a custom grill pattern. So I did four, is there four? Three, <laughs> three, three vertical grills and one big horizontal across the middle. And the reason why I kept it kind of simple with the grill pattern is because I wanted you to be able to see out into it. Um, and past it really. We're in my entryway, so we have a glass front door, which I'll also show you. But so from the front door, as soon as you entered into my home, I wanted you to be able to immediately see this big picturesque window. Um, and this is also referred to as a picture window because it is inoperable, so it does not work. You cannot open it. So that was also a way that we were able to get such width um, and height. So I love this window. I think it's so incredibly beautiful. It's 96 inches wide by, I want to say 72 inches tall. So eight feet by six feet. Um, and it just gives you such a good grandeur when you, when you walk in. The color itself is black on the interior and then the exterior is actually tan. So for all of my windows, I went with a black interior and a tan exterior. Be very careful when you're selecting the color of your windows, both in interior and exterior. If you are not pretty savvy in the design world or if you're not working with a professional design team, uh, it can go wrong really easily and we don't want that, but I also want you to be empowered to at least explore some of these things. Windows are very, 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 very permanent. So <laughs> for me, I was comfortable in a two-tone, we'll call it window, one color interior, one color exterior, but I can honestly tell you that that is a very risky, high-level designer move that you may not wanna do at home, um, unless you want your house to look like mine, and maybe you do, and in that case, go for a black interior, tan exterior. So, um, like I said, this is a good example of a picture window. We also have some picture windows in our great room, which I'm sure you have seen on other tours. If you haven't, go check out the room reveals. But we have big, huge, beautiful picture windows in there as well with a very simple grill pattern so that you could really take in the exterior and kind of make you feel like you were feeling the exterior inside. Here in our primary suite, our space is anchored by this beautiful corner of windows and an exterior door. I absolutely adore the amount of light that, bring, that it brings in. And this is a great example of a casement window. So the casement itself actually just is the crank and the way you open it. So there's a lock right here. So you unlock the window and then I'm gonna switch sides here. And then you take this crank and you crank it and it opens like that. Um, and it's so pretty. I can't wait until it's not 120 degrees out and we can actually have the windows open because right now there is no freaking way, but they open like that. And so they all open. Um, there's no shades on a casement window that opens like this, as you can see, because the window kind of pivots out like this. Um, and oh my God, I can feel the heat coming in so much. Um, let me close that as soon as possible. 
So if you're looking for exactly what I have with Sierra Pacific, either on their website or you're looking through a showroom or, or their brochure, these are urban casement windows and the grill style. So this is what's referred to as the grill. This is seven eighths of an inch in the, the style of the actual grill. It comes in different profiles is putty. So urban casement in black, seven eighths of an inch grill style in putty. I finally got it right. Um, and the difference between, as we talked about a little bit before, stationary or operable. So stationary is gonna be your picture window, it does not open. Operable is gonna be your casement window like I have here that I just demonstrated, and it does open. There really is not a right or wrong answer in terms of whether you should have operable windows or stationary windows. Clients ask us all the time, like, oh my gosh, what, which room should have what? Obviously in bedrooms, you're gonna want windows that open and by code in, I would assume every single state, definitely in this one, you have to have windows that open for fire safety. So in your bedrooms, you want that opportunity for air. In a bathroom, you certainly want that opportunity for air if you can. But then when you get into the arena that you have a lot of different windows, you can kind of pick and choose. So for us, we had a door here so we can get out the door and then these obviously open as well. There's a lot of windows in our living room, let's say, or our great room, we, we were allowed to be a little bit more choosy because we had so many different windows. So there really isn't a, a right or a wrong, it's total preference. For some people, they definitely want their kitchen window behind their sink to open, right? For me, that, that wasn't important to me. So the, the windows that are in my kitchen are actually stationary, they don't open. I basically put them there for natural light and the view, and I don't, I don't wanna open them. I think I'll probably end up opening a door instead. So total personal choice, think about how you live in your home, talk to your product specialist, at uh, Sierra Pacific Windows so that they can help you nail your window and door package. Here at my front door, Sierra Pacific created a custom door for me because I wanted both windows on the top and windows on the bottom. So I kind of love that Dutch door look, but I used a Dutch door in another area of my home. So this, I wanted a solid door, but I wanted light that was coming through, of course, and I still wanted it to feel nice and robust. So this piece they created, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's eight feet tall by 36 inches, so eight feet by three feet. And this hardware, which I also think is a huge selling point with Sierra Pacific, their doors come with hardware. This is the Dallas hardware and it's a three point locking system. So you just pull it up like this and then you can lock it um, or unlock it and it just opens just obviously like a regular door. So um, it's an aluminum clad exterior and wood interior. Really great construction for doors. I absolutely love it. It's a showpiece and set like the perfect tone. So you can use this these doors on your front door, like I said, you can use them as, as doubles or singles on your exterior patio doors or in a whole variety of different ways. So not just a front door placement, you can use it anywhere. Another thing I absolutely love about Sierra Pacific's doors and windows is how they look with window treatments. So this uh, door in our guest room is one of my favorites in the entire house. I just feel like it feels so Euro and romantic and luxe and the window treatments paired with the double door is just incredible. So this is also the Dallas hardware with one of their doors and it opens so beautifully. Doors and windows truly will make or break your home, both from energy efficiency and performance to of course aesthetics and design, um, all super important things when you are selecting doors and windows. So Sierra Pacific Windows truly has my vote for both doors and windows. I love the product. I love, love, love having it in my own home. I've been designing with their product for 10 years, but having it in my own home is a treat and certainly um, gives me a benefit so that I can really talk to you guys about how the livability with their product is. And I think it's just bar none the best. So if you're looking for more information, please go to www.sierrapacificwindows.com. I'm happy to answer any questions I can for you in the comments as well. And I will catch you on the next one.